Hi everybody, I'm Leslie Sansone. I'm excited to bring you my new workout today. It's different. This workout combines aerobic conditioning with strength training. Now we all know how important it is for cardiovascular conditioning, and that's aerobics. But when you add strength training to it, you really make a powerful workout that burns a lot of calories and burns a lot of stored fat. Now, in the workout, I'm going to be using these gloved weights. They're a pound each. You can use dumbbells that are bought in any discount store, a pound each. You can use two pound each in, in each hand, but I think that's the maximum that you should use during the workout. Okay? So again, this very effective, high calorie, high fat burning workout only takes about 30 minutes. It's called walk and firm. You're firming while you're walking. Okay, let's get right to it. Okay, everybody, let's warm up. Now, the music is always slow for the warm up, of course, because we're going to gently increase the pace and bring you up to the real working pace. Warm ups are most important because they prepare you for the main event, right? Okay, all we do is start out walking or marching in place. And two, good, three. Just stay there for a little while. We'll let the blood warm. Get you going. Good. Seven. And eight more counts. Go eight and seven and six, five, four, three, two. Let's try a side step. All you need to do is step out to the side and bring the other foot in to meet it. Step out together, out together. Not too wide. We have to allow the hip joints to warm. So stay right there. Good. Eight more. There's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back to walking and just keep it gentle. Got to get yourself ready for the next part of the workout. Good. Three and four and five, six. Okay, I want you to open the feet up a little more. And now here's where we start to warm into the hip joints. Just keep lifting the feet. Five, six, seven. That little beat is good. That's what helps us keep the pace. The beat of the music helps us keep the pace so it's just right to get our body ready. Two and three and four. Bring the feet back together. Five and six and seven. Good. I want to go apart again. Four and three. I want to drop into mini squats. It looks like this. You drop down and then with a little bit of rhythm you kind of pop up to the side. It's a mini squat. That's it. This will get us ready for some of the strength training exercises that we'll be doing in a few minutes. Okay? Drop. Drop. It's good. I'm so glad to be here with you, just you and just me, you and me. Usually I have a big gang, right? Well, it's fun to just be here working out with you. And we'll have a great workout today. There's four, three, and two. The pace is picking up just a little. If you heard that little change, it's because we've got to now elevate heart rate just a little bit, very gently, and five, Six, I want you to try this. You're going to step forward and bring the other foot up to tap it. This starts to prepare us for the lunges step that we're going to do later on that will strengthen our thigh muscles. But for now, for the warm-up, I just want you to step forward, bring the other foot up to tap. Let's try four more. Four. Three. We're going to switch the lead leg. Let's do one more. All right, now the lead leg switches, so whichever one you were on, you just switch. That's good. Step forward. Remember, it doesn't matter what leg, which way you're moving or which way I'm moving, as long as you're keeping that pace. I'm not going to teach you dance steps. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to keep you moving at a brisk pace so that body gets conditioned. And then we're adding the muscle to it, too, today. So you're going to get a double workout, total conditioning. All right, let's just do one more after that one. Good. One more. Back to walking and walk. Good. Already you can feel you're warm, that blood's flowing, the oxygen's coming in a little faster, so the body has to process it. That circulation gets the body ready for the brisker activity to come. Eight and seven. Open up the feet again. Good. And four. Three. Just a little mild kickback. That's raise the heel behind you. Raise the heel. Good. Just raise the heel. Not too much. Five, six, seven. And eight more counts. There's eight, seven, six. And five, four, we're gonna drop back down into those mini squats and all you do is this, you drop. Good. It's a little deeper this time. Take an arm and swing it out, just one arm. Swing it out, we'll get some upper body going. Good. 
Okay, try the other side now. Go ahead. And in and out. Warm the shoulders. We're gonna be holding weights later, so we want the shoulders ready for that. Good. Just a few more. Good choice today, you made a good choice. You said, I need to exercise, I'm gonna pop my tape in and exercise. Smart. Hang on now. We're warm, you can feel it. The body's warm already, I can feel. That circulation's going. We're just about ready to increase just a little more. We're gonna add the weights and go into some of the strength training exercises. One more for upper body. I want you to push forward, pull back. Push forward, that gets you ready for the movements to come. Good, push forward, pull back, push forward, pull back, drop the arms, four, three. Can I walk you a little? Travel, two counts up and two counts back. Now always remember, if you don't have room at home, you just stay where you are. Okay, I am going to do one more time. Then we're going to get our weights. If you have your weights there, go ahead and pick them up. I'm gonna grab them here at the table. I have a set of gloved weights. All they are is a little glove and they have weights in them. If you've got dumbbells, one pound or two pound, I want you to keep moving, please. <laughs> don't stand. We got ourselves warm now. We don't want to cool down. Okay, and once you have your weights, just hold your dumbbells. If you have one pound, two pounds should be the max. Okay, just hold them loosely. And I don't want you to grip too tight around the weight if you have just um, kind of generic dumbbells. All right, open up the feet. We're going to place our feet just a little wee bit further than shoulder width apart. Turn the toes out just a little wee bit. These are squats. And all we're going to do is to that beat, do a double count down. If you can hear the music, it's one, two. Now squats are one of the most important exercises to strengthen the legs. They target every muscle group. So all the major muscles of the legs, the hips, are being worked right now. And when we strengthen those, we become lean. When you get strong, you get lean. You don't get big. Strong is not big, strong is lean. Good, okay. Bring your elbows close to your sides, too. While we're doing squats, I wanna start a bicep curl. Keep it slow. Curl when you go down and extend when you come back up. Bicep curl is simply raising the weights up. Think about the muscles being used now. Let's first think about bicep. When you're raising the weights, the muscles shorten. When you are lowering the weights, then they lengthen. Good. And one more time. Everything is slow. Very good. Hold the weights down here. Hold the squat. Now we're going to pop back up. Stay right here to a faster beat. Drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Lift, okay, back to walking, good, hold the weight. Here we go. All right, now we're gonna put the heart rate back up. Now we're doing intervals, you know. That was a slow interval for weight training and strength training. Now we wanna go back into raising heart rate again. So we're back to some mild, gentle aerobics. Hold the weights to the side for now, five. This music makes you wanna take off, I'm gonna go. Two counts up, one, two, good, one, two. You know, it's worth moving a chair or a coffee table. If you can get a little more space, around your television. It really makes a difference. So if you're really limited, it's okay because the workout is so good. Even if you're right in front of your TV and you can't move very much. But if you have some space, use it. One, two, good, one, two, one, two. Okay, stay right where you are. I want to use the weights a bit. Just walk, walk. Now here's what we'll do. Punch forward, pull back. Good, just reach forward. Reach forward, good. And four more counts, four, and three, and two. We're back to strength training, slower pace, you can hear that. All right, we're gonna do some lunges. Now what I want you to do first is just put one foot forward, one foot in the back, and first get some balance. Don't go right into the lunge until you feel that you've got your balance. You might have to move your back foot out a little bit so you feel you have a good base. A lunge is simply dropping straight down and letting the thigh muscle do the work. Two, one, two. Now, I want you to think about going straight down and straight up. Don't move yourself forward at all. It's another slow beat. You go down, two. Good. 
you've got to be careful not to put any strain on the knee. If you move forward, you're going to strain the knee. I'm only dropping down. One, two, good. One, two, one, two, and up. Two, down, two, and up. Two, down, two, and up. Two, last time, down, two. Good for that thigh. Doesn't that feel great? All right, switch to the other side. I wonder, I wish I could hear you <laughs> answer that question. Doesn't that feel great? Get your balance. Good. Abdominals are tight. That'll help you. Drop for two. In all workouts, it's so important to first stabilize the core of the body. The way we do that is with our big stabilizer muscles, and that's the abdominals. So if you tighten the abdominals through the whole workout, you've got good stability to the core. You have protection for the back. Slow, slow, slow. Keep it slow. You don't have to go very deep. Good. Good for the legs. Down, two, up, two, down, two, and up, two. Stay with us just a few more. And up. Very good. It's one, two, up, two. Last time, down, two, and up. Good for you. That felt great. Walk a little. Just easy. Five, upper body again. I want you to reach straight over the head, up, down. Okay, there goes the pace. Pick up the pace with your feet now, a little more walking. Here's four. Here's three, tighten abdominals, two. Good, drop weights, now just hold them to your sides. Eight, seven, open up feet. Good, four, three, we'll go to kickbacks. Just lift the heel, here it is, kickback. Kickback, doesn't that music just make you wanna fly? <laughs> Makes you wanna go, good, eight, seven. Six. That's what the music should do. It should motivate you to keep the pace. Again, it's not for dancing, not in my tapes. You gotta get other tapes if you need to dance. <laughs> Hang on. This is just so we're positive you're keeping a brisk pace. And five, six, seven. Let's walk again and walk. All right, here we go, weights. Up over the head, straight up. Five, six, ready? It's just like this. Reach straight up and down. Straight up, down. Good. That's it. Just a few more. And up. All right, hold the weights down to the side. Here we go, back to slow. I want you to set up again for squats. Turn your toes out just a little wee tiny bit, not much. Your knee's gonna track right over that. When you squat, you just sit. Two. These are slow ones, we did these earlier. But I want you to pick up the pace. After this one, do one more slow. All right, ready? Let's do them quickly. Now you go down, up, down. Can you think about your heels pushing against the floor and that brings you back up? That's when you really dig in to hamstrings and gluteals. Quadriceps are working. They're strengthening, they're toning, they're firming, they're slimming. It's worth, every one you do, it's worth it. Down. Say, oh good. I'm glad it's worth it. <laughs> Drop. It will be. You'll feel so good. Keeping your commitment to healthy living. Good, drop, drop. You wanna add a few curls, here we go. We curl and curl. Those bicep muscles need to be strong. We use them a lot all day long. Good. Everything, muscles in the back, muscles in the chest, muscles in the shoulders, lower body muscles, your leg muscles, they all have to be strong to carry you through your day. Drop, just a few more. Here's four, here's three. Here's two, and here's one. Go ahead out of that position. Bring your left foot or right foot forward, doesn't matter which one, just a few lunges. Here it goes, it's drop. Now we're back to that fast pace, drop. We're going straight down, straight up. Straight down, straight up. Don't think about coming forward. Good, that's it. Okay, that's all, let's switch. Same thing. This time, I want you to bring your hands straight above your head. Drop and extend. Drop the weights behind you. This is called a French press or an overhead press, and it works the back of your arms, triceps. Wow. Wow, I'm starting to sweat. Ooh, let's just do a few more. The music changed for the aerobic interval, but I want two more. Come on, arms. Come on, legs. Ah, that felt good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Take another minute interval of fast walking. It's all walking right now. Okay, let's move up two counts, come on. Use that space if you've got it. Two, 
Good. And two, let's go one, two. Good, I want you to stay back now. Stay right where you are. Weights forward, back, forward. Just do two more. Good. Over the head for four counts. Here's four, three. You're using a lot of calories. You're strengthening heart and lungs. You're improving the health of your skin, your hair, and your nails. How about that one? That's a good one. <laughs> good. Five, six. I want you to lift your knees. Knees up, knees up. We're gonna move with this now. Five, six, knees up. Four counts forward so your legs take you forward. Three, four, walk back. One, two, three, four. Knees forward. One, two, three, four. Walk back. One, two. We're gonna carry the weights through about a half a mile segment of aerobics so it makes it a little more challenging. Let's do knees again. Knees forward. Two, abs are tight. Give that back support. Stabilize the trunk. Last time up with knees. That's good. Nice job. Drop them to the side, just walk. Three, four, five, six. I want you to step forward. It's like, I, I call it a box walk. And you're just kind of going into corners. You widen your stance, step forward, then step back. Step forward, step back. Just carry the weights, hold them close to the body. Don't let your weight swing away from you. Too much stress on the elbow and the shoulder. You keep them controlled close to the body. Here's four. Here's three. We're just working the leg muscles in another direction so it helps you to challenge them more. Walk in place now. Walk. Good. And three. Four. Let's do some side steps. Six, seven. All you do is step out to the side now. Now, if we want to stay erect like this and standing tall, you're going to use less energy than this. So it's up to you. If you're feeling like maybe I need a little break, stand up tall and just take some gentle steps out to the side. But if you've got your energy, <laughs> come on, sit down into it. You can feel your thigh muscles engage. And wow, does it make a difference. You really burn a lot of calories when you ask those deeper layers of muscle to work hard. Step out, step out. All right, reach, pull back, reach. Come on, hang on to those weights. If you're getting tired though, please put the weights down and continue. It's a great workout with or without the weights. Step out. Good. That's it. You hear me breathing? <laughs> Good. Well, I should be breathing. I better be breathing. Good. Last time. And walk in place. Over the head. Let's go up and down and up and down. Up and down. Try four more. Here's four. Here's three. How do you feel? I know you feel good, don't say bad. I know you do. <laughs> Come on, I want you to think happy today and positive. If you're starting your day with exercise, you're gonna have a great day. It was a perfect choice. If you're ending your day with exercise, that's great too. Relieve stress. You accomplish something at the end of the day it was really important for your health. And five, we're gonna step forward and tap. Remember that in the beginning, it was just to get us ready for lunges, but we're gonna make it a little more Oh, intense right now because I'm going to drop into it. When I step forward, I'm going to drop. Use some gluteals and hamstrings and quadriceps. The big muscle groups of the legs, they use a lot of calories when you challenge them. Step. Good. We're taking about a five or six minute period. It's about a half a mile of activity and just keeping you going. Good. To boost those calories. One more. All right, stay where you are now, five. Let's switch the feet. That was my right foot going out. Whichever one went first, it's fine. Let's switch the lead leg, four, three. Are you ready? All right, I'm gonna step out with my left now. Here we go, now dig down into it. If you're tired, stay up tall, it's okay. You can be a little more gentle about it. But if you've got some energy, I want you to dig in. Get the legs working. Good, step forward, down and tap. Good. Forward, tap, back and tap. Forward, tap, back and tap. Nice, and see how fast it goes. You're not gonna believe it. We're gonna do another set of intervals after this for strength training. Then it's the cool down. Do I dare tell you that already? <laughs> come on, don't slow down. You gotta put all your energy into this segment now. Come on, four, three, two. Last time, back to walking. Don't hold your breath. Blow out, empty out your lungs. All right, upper body, up and down 
and up. All right, let's go forward, two counts, forward and back. Good, up again, two up and then two forward. Oxygen makes energy. You gotta get it in that body. Pump it in, pump it out. Oxygen burns fat, oxygen creates energy. My, the best thing you can do is mild aerobics. It's all about oxygen, right? That's what we're doing today. Then we're adding weights that makes lean muscle. So you've got strength training and aerobics. That's your formula for weight loss. Nothing better than that. And how about great health? More important than anything is you feel great every day. Good job. Okay, all I want you to do is walk. Just a little wee bit for the upper back muscles. I want you to just shrug. Shrug, holding onto the weight. Shrug. Try to think of your shoulders going back, not up to your ears, but behind. Behind. It's behind. It's just shrugging like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hang <laughs> on. That's it. Upper back muscles important for good posture. Good posture is important to look youthful and feel youthful. You know, much of our back pain is due to muscle atrophy. So many of the chiropractors say, it's because your muscles have atrophied. That's why your back's in pain. You're not supposed to have pain. You're supposed to be healthy and strong until you're 100. <laughs> really, you are. OK, walk forward, two. Let's go. One and two and back. No excuse. Are you 99? You should be exercising. <laughs> Hang on. And one, two, good. No excuse, everyone needs it. One and two, back and two, one and two. Stay where you are now, walk. Open up the feet, five, six. Little kickbacks, here they come. Just lift the heel. Now sit down, same thing. Every time you sit down into a movement, you're engaging more muscle, you're recruiting more muscle. You're asking the leg muscles to go into deeper layers and work hard. Good, here comes a little challenge. More strength training, interval training. The pace slowed, so we'll go right back into that. I want to try this with you. It helps your balance, helps hamstrings, quadriceps, it helps stabilize the hip area. Just stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. Now, bring your feet in close. If you can, whatever foot you want to start with, I just want you to raise to your toe. Now, lift the leg up and bring it down in a two beat count, one. Two, I'm lifting, one, two, I'm lowering, one, two, I'm lifting, one, two. Do you know it's not the leg that's moving, but the leg that's stabilizing is doing so much work. This helps your balance. Two, one, two, good, one, two, one, two, great. Let's do just one more. One, two, strong legs, strong hips. You need them to keep your energy all day. Ready? Let's switch. Here it is. It's one. Two, one, two, one, two. Grab your balance when you need to. Two, one, just put your toe down if you need to get that balance. One, two, again, can you feel the strength of the leg and hip that's stabilizing you? That's not the one that's moving. It's the one that's supporting the body. One, two, so important your balance and your muscle strength. One, two, one, Two, last time, always on my left, my little <laughs> shaking. That's good, that's why you need the work. All right, walk in place. Open up feet just a little, turn toes out. Back to squats, but it's the faster beat, so we just drop. Good, we drop and drop. Add some curls, good. Curl, curl, it's gonna pick up the pace again, but I'm gonna finish with two more. One more, good, let's walk. We got a minute on the brisk, Walking, six, seven, move up two because this is that pace that makes me want to go. Two. All right, stay back for a second. We're going to start kicks. Kick right to the front, but I don't want you to travel with the kick, so we're going to add more muscle use to this. All right, now four kicks forward. If you can move, if you've got the space, you've got to use it. And just walk back. Two, three, now kick forward four. One, two. Hold the weights close to you. Don't let them swing around. You want to keep the shoulders and elbow joints protected. All right, stay back, stay back right here. Six, seven, let that air out. Now arms, push forward, push forward. That's it. Just reach to the front. Two more, one more. Hold the weights, hold them in close. Good, I want you to bring them up like a muscle man. 
But if they're out to the side here, bring them here into the corner. Slowing the pace now, in. I'm just bringing the weights straight above the biceps and just bringing elbows close. That's it. That's all, just using the weights in another way. Hang on, two more and one more. Good job, now slow, way down. Let's try one more set of lunging. Any foot forward is fine. Okay, I want you to drop back and think about only down, two, up, two. I'm going down, then I'm going straight back up. I'm not allowing my body to come forward. Real quick, I wanna show you this. That's not what we wanna do, too much stress on the knee. So let's drop, two, and up, two. Good, one, two, up, for two, down, two. Okay, switch feet, good job. Can you feel how strong those muscles are getting? Here it is. Don't start until you've got your balance. Don't worry about it. If I get into my position quickly and you're not ready yet, just wait. Get your balance and then start. Down, two. Good. If you just started using this tape, in a few weeks you're gonna look so much better. You're gonna see the muscle has gotten firm and tight. You'll see it change. You'll see your body change. So be consistent. Now three, four, five times a week. It's up to you. And two. Especially at exercise using weights. You don't really have to do it as often to get great results because we're adding the challenge with the weights. Walk easy. Five, six, seven. Open up the feet. Eight, seven, six, five. There's that pace I wanted. Good. And we're going to go to that box step. It's just walking forward two and walking back two, just like you're in a box like this. It's up, back, up, back. Hold on to those weights. It's the last minute of brisk walking before we hit the cool down. Good. Last time up. Stay where you are. Walk, walk. All right, now come on, lift feet. Now, I want you to walk, but stay forward and just go off to the side. You're marching sideways. Good. We're going back off to the side. That's it. Good just walking and moving sideways. Great, great, great. Okay, now stay in place. Here's eight, seven, six, five. I'll have you move forward again. Or I'm sorry, it's step forward and bring the in, foot into tap. Good, step. And guess what? That signals the cool down. Oh, how, see how fast it goes? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Hallelujah, I said it for you. Good. <laughs> do two more. Here's one. And here's two. Walk in place. You know, I do, sometimes I miss like there's no one here and I can't talk to them. But the camera guys can hear me. I hope they laugh at these jokes. <laughs> I want to get rid of the weights now. The left hand, the left foot. I was on my right foot the last time I did a step out. So you do your opposite foot. Good. Hang on. We'll go back to walking, I'll move the weights out of the way. And then we'll do a good cool down. Here's two more. Do one more. Okay, walk here and walk. Good job, let me just drop them here. And let's walk, walk. Bring the heart rate down gradually. You really don't want to go come to a complete stop. Now you know that, if you really are even short of time and you think, oh, I don't want to cool down, I've got to get moving. You don't stand still, you have to allow that body to recover. Allow your breathing to come back to normal. Allow the heart rate to come back to, it's actually a resting state, but it's called recovery. Okay, good. And four, three, two. Little wee side steps, real little. Good. And out together, out together, out together, out together. Nice. And eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna bring the heart rate down and we'll do some stretches. And that'll be it. Do you believe it? Goes so fast. Best way to work out is with a video, I have to tell you. And I really believe that only because it's ready when you're ready. Yeah, good. Okay, back to walking. You know, you can't interrupt. No one can call off and say, I can't come with you today walking. You can say, it's okay, I'll walk at home. 
So it's wonderful to have video workouts. Three, I think it's the smartest way to keep your commitment to fitness because remember, everything is good. The machines you buy, they're good. The fitness machines, the walking outdoors, great, go do it. But boy, your video workouts, they'll keep you committed. Four, three, open up feet. Mini squats are easy. All you do is drop and a little rhythm to them by popping up, that's all. Good, keep it slow now, keep it slow. Okay, I want you to drop, turn the toes, good. And just very slowly, drop, good, up, two, drop, two. Now this time, come up, stay right where you are, just a comfortable stance. Upper body, I want you to reach and really stretch because we used a lot of the muscles in the shoulder, the upper back. The muscles of the trunk were working hard through the workout. So even though a lot of people are obsessed with all the crunches and all the abdominal work, your abdominals get a tremendous amount of work in a workout like this. In a program like this, we use the trunk of our body in everything we do. Bring the arms all the way back. Just follow my arms. We're just stretching all the muscles of the arms, the trunk. Good, you can feel that chest muscles open up. Reach again, reach. Good job, pull down. All right, this time, put your hands on your thighs. I want you to slowly drop your hips down and back. Drop them back so that you're actually bending forward. Now my spine is still in good alignment. My head's in line with my spine. All I did was drop back. Now I want to stretch your hamstrings and just an easy way to do it is to start to straighten those legs. As much as you can, not too much. Keep the head up, don't drop the head low. Good, and let's bend the knees. Now straighten the legs. Can you feel the hamstrings, the muscles in the back of the legs stretch? Abs are tight, supporting the back. Good. Can you just walk down your legs just a little bit? Just a little. Good. Bring them back up. Good. And come right back out of it. Well, how do you feel? I know you feel great. I feel great. <laughs> Good job. Cool down's all done. You had a great workout. You had your muscle training. You had your aerobics. That's it for today. I'll see you the next time.